Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another energy drink review. Now before we get started, if you'd like your product reviewed by me on this channel right here on Mike's Man Cave, please contact me on my email address that I've got listed down below. Now let's get stuck into our review. Today we're going to be looking at the Shine Tropical Energy Drink. Now it says here, better energy, new tropic drink. Shine with natural nootropics, a new twist on age-old ingredients to help you exercise and awaken your mind. Now, one thing I noticed straight away, there's only 7.6 grams of sugar in the whole bottle, which is very low for an energy drink, and it's not a no-sugar energy drink. There's no artificial sweetness in this at all. It does say so up here, low sugar. Natural caffeine, vegan, no artificial sweeteners, colours or preservatives. Green coffee beans, green tea, as well as a few other ingredients. So we're looking at 106 milligrams of caffeine and 7.6 grams of sugar, which is pretty good, I think. Look, there's not much else I can say. Let's just crack it open. It does come in a fancy glass bottle as compared to a can that most energy drinks come in. Let's crack it open. There you go. Nice bit of fizz. Jeez. Okay, it's got a very, very strong tropical and mango type smell to it. Look, if the smell is any indication, this is going to have a very, very strong flavour. Let's taste it. Geez, that's a big mix of flavours in there. Well, a bit too much, I think. A bit too much. I can taste the green tea aftertaste. You can almost taste the green coffee beans in it, I think. Ooh, yeah, no. Nah. Look, it's all right. It's not very sweet. It's got that really green tea aftertaste. If you've ever had green tea powder or anything like that, it's got that aftertaste. It does have a tropical flavour. You can definitely taste the mango and the tropical pineapple and all that sort of stuff in it. So yes, definitely tropical, but I'm not really keen on the aftertaste of the um, green tea and all that sort of stuff. I think it's just a little bit much for my liking. It just seems to be one of those trendy type drinks that um, they seem to sell in trendy places, even though I did buy this at the um, Shell petrol station down the road. Yeah, look, the more I drink it, the more I get used to it. But that um, green tea flavour, they could have left that out, I think. Yeah, not keen on that. But it does have a nice tropical taste. The initial taste is tropical, very strong. Not overly sweet. Carbonation is really good. So it's nicely carbonated. It doesn't foam up in your mouth and it doesn't taste flat. So it's spot on. They got all that sort of stuff right. They've obviously done a little bit of research with this stuff and um, got all those sort of things right. And look, if it wasn't for the green tea flavour or green tea aftertaste at the end, this would probably be really, really nice. So let's have another taste. Now, I haven't had much of it. It's still full up to there. Before I make a final decision on giving it a score out of 10. I don't really want to do an injustice to it. So let's have another good taste. Okay, I've got it settled. I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10, which I think is fair. And look, if you don't mind the um, aftertaste of the green tea, you could probably score it a bit higher. 
Now, if you've tried this particular drink here, do me a favour and do let me know what you think. You are obviously watching this review to see what I'm thinking about it. So let me know what your thoughts are and um, give me some sort of idea on what other people think about this. I like the fact that it's very low in sugar. And look, I like the fact that it's high in caffeine. It's probably a really good energy drink. But just the green tea flavour. And look, green tea is good for you. I used to actually take green tea powder a long time ago for the health benefits. And then I sort of stopped doing it because it just tasted terrible. And maybe this is what's giving me the flashbacks to that green powder taste. So anyway... Let me know what your thoughts are. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was interesting, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.